Now, when I do my programming for calisthenics, for body weight strength, for mobility, I also create a daily practice. Now, the daily practice normally takes care of things like the flexibility work and also skill pathways. So let me explain that. Now, we have a set of general mobility and flexibility work that I recommend that everyone does, especially if they're working towards the standard skills. Handstands, handstand push-ups, press handstand, chin-ups, dips, and things like that. Then we would have skill-specific pathways. So these are things related to your goals, the priority. Now obviously these aren't low repetitions, high intensity work. This is higher repetition or higher time, less intense things that you can do on a daily basis. So for mobility, flexibility, so I would be doing some hanging and or thoracic mobility on a foam roller, yoga block, quads and hip flexors, single leg hamstring, a pigeon variation, and then my current favorite, a Cossack mobility squat. Now for each of those, I'd only be looking at doing around 30 to 60 seconds. That obviously depends on your goals and your current flexibility, but only around 30 to 60 seconds of work on each one because it is a daily practice. So that whole thing there should only take about 15 minutes. Now the skill specific pathway is gonna be based on your goals. What are your priorities? Now, if it's a muscle up, it might be the transition pathway. Now the transition pathway, especially on a daily basis, is literally just going through that movement from the top of the chin to the bottom of the dip. You could even do it without the rings, without the bar, just going through that pathway to get the body used to it. It could be a short handstand balance. It could be visiting the straddle good morning if you're working on press handstand. So sitting in that position, watching TV in that position. If your goal is a pistol squat, it could be bent knee, calf stretch, or if you're just trying to get the middle splits, it's literally just visit in that position every day. So I'd only be doing one or two of these. So this should literally be five minutes of work or something like the straddle good morning where you're gonna sit in that position when you work and when you do stuff, it might be a longer duration, but it's not intense, it's not a workout. So if we add the five minutes of that work to the 15 minutes roughly of that work, we have 20 minutes of daily practice. Now, if it's a day when you're actually doing a training session, I would use this part here as your warm up. And if you're doing a workout that trains one of your specific goals, obviously you could just bypass this bit and do the workout instead. Now, obviously you need to fine tune them to your body, your goals, only have one priority goal that you're doing something here. I wouldn't have one any more than one. Obviously you need to fine tune this to you. So if you're very open in certain positions here, spend the time on the stuff that you need to work on more and then go through your goals put them in priority order and pick the number one for this part. Let me know your thoughts on the daily practice. Stick any questions in the comments below and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.